Hi everyone! Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Magandang umaga o magandang gabi naman sa at magandang hapon rin sa mga Pilipino, sa mga OFWs, mga kapwa Pilipino kababayan na natin na sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. Ah, uh, kung anong araw, kung anong oras mga kayo datan. Magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Again, this is Richard Solomon of my YouTube channel Cha and My Narratives, The Stroke Survivor laban lang, especially ngayong pandemic okay um, this is my second vlog for today medyo kita nyo, medyo pinapawisan na ako no? so uh, sa mga baguhan po, na ngayon lang po nakakapanood ng uh, mga vlogs ko po no? uh, uh, sana po, please do subscribe at sa mga dati yan rin na hindi pa nakasubscribe please huwag nyo na makalimutan subscribe kayo subscribe like if you like this uh, video content and vlog and uh, share if you may and comment below so kung ano po ang uh, gusto nyong sabihin just comment below po at so nagre-reply po ako sa lahat ng mga sumusulat po sa akin nagko-comment no as long as it's not violent <laughs> okay, hindi po ako nakikipagaway I don't do de debates okay okay ano naman po yung content ko for this video okay uh, for the past week and I posted this several times already sa uh, actually for two consecutive days already sa Facebook ko no? so blog ko naman sa Facebook uh, this is the issue with regards to uh, yung lumabas na manifesto or statement of the Oxford Philippines Society okay now Kung hindi nyo po alam yung Oxford Philippine Society or yung Oxford muna, Oxford University is a prestigious university in England kung saan po nag-aral po rin si Bongbo Marcos and I believe pati mga anak niya ay doon na rin nag-aaral no? at an early age no? hanggang sa college. Ata. It's a prestigious school. Balita ko matatalino yung mga nari yan no? bukod sa may kaya. No? So, now other than that, uh, ito nga po yung Oxford sino yung Oxford Philippine Society na gumawa ng statement na nabanggit ko nga na uh, they are like the, the statement runs that uh, they are Filip, Filipino uh, graduates of whatever courses they they uh, took or they take dun sa dun sa Oxford no they are graduates alumni and degree holder even no so degree holder we redefine we redefine natin yan mamaya na sinasabi nga no they're filipino alum uh, oxford alumni graduates degree holders uh, who has who has this association of filipinos who studied in oxford and they said that uh bongbo marcos never finished a degree or doesn't have a degree as Bongbong claims no and other than that that ang tinapos lang daw po ni Bongbong Marcos second is a diploma he got a diploma for social studies history social studies okay so pinapabulaanan nila na walang degree pina, na, na may degree siya no wala daw degree Hindi daw degree, tapos it's, he was only conferred with a diploma, certificate, or certificate of diploma for social studies. Okay, gaya nga rin sinabi ko sa isang vlog. May it be, sabihin na natin on point sila at accurate yung sinasabi lang. For example, ha, na hindi nga yung degree. That was only a diploma. Pero meron na tayong rebattle ngayon dyan. Uh, mamaya, babalikan ko. Sabihin na natin tama sila. Kaya nga sabi ko doon sa isang vlog ko, previous vlog ko, ano yung point nyo? Where this is leading to? Tapos sinabi pa nila, hindi daw political yung paglabas nila statement. It's not political? Why is it ngayon nyo lang sinabi yan? Uh, sa panahon na papasok tayo sa election so it's not political it's not political na yung pagtingin mo sa baba nun, sa footnotes merong source nun, is 
Rappler. So, mayroon kayo yun yung mga reference nyo, Rappler. No? So, it's not political. Hindi political. By the way, ang mga Oxford Philippine Society, Society ay na-identify na. Nakita ko na rin kapon. And most of them were already graduates in UP, Ateneo even, and has siguro doctoral studies or another other course uh, studies in Oxford at nagkaroon rin silang degree doon so ito yung mga Pilipino so pag sinabi po nagkaroon ka sa Oxford Pilipino, mayayaman, may kaya at matatalino I would uh, give the credit to their intelligence no? pero ito yung nakakatuwa doon nasabi ko nga rin sa vlog ko na I really don't understand uh, although I understand where they're coming from no? of course their, ang inclination na is hindi nga daw political pero eventually nalaman na natin na they're inclined to the other presidential aspirants no? or candidates side which is that of Lenny Robredo. So, they're also, they will also belong, itong Oxford Philippine Society, also belong to the Pink Nation. The Pink Lawan. <laughs> yung bago ngayon, Pink Lawan. So, okay lang yun. Okay lang yun. I respect that. Uh, doon kayo, no? Pero, ano yung sabi pa? Ano yung purpose ng paglabas ninyo neto? Ng manifesto na to or statement uh, discrediting the claim of Bobo Marcos that He has a degree in Oxford. Okay. So, ano yung, ano yun, no? Actually, isa lang na nga yung nakikita ko eh, na purpose of that manifesto or statement of you, coming from you, from, from that group, Oxford Philippine Society, is to malign and discredit uh, Bongbo Marcos at parang sasabi niyo, sinungaling nga siya, No? Why? Kasi hindi naman maapektuhan ng statement na yun or manifesto na yun. Sabihin pang tama pa kayo. Sabihin nga tama, I'll give that for to you for now. No? Pero may rebatal ako dyan. Na wala nga degree si Marcos. The truth is, your manifesto and statement is actually useless, insignificant. Because it wouldn't even deter, prevent, and disqualify Bongbong Marcos Certificate of Candidacy filed for the presidential for his presidential bid why? because under section 2 of article 7 yung sa executive no? uh, branch of the 1987 constitution na ginawa nung panahon ni Cory Aquino Ano lang ba yung importante yung nakalagay doon? I would only emphasize, bukod sa 40 years old ka dapat, uh, may 10 years residency, dapat Filipino citizen ka, ang isang pinaka-importante daw, glaring, is hindi naman kailang graduate ka ng college, may degree ka sa college, hindi. Hindi kailang graduate ka ng high school, wala sinasabi doon. Kahit nga elementary, okay lang eh. <laughs> Bakit? Ang pinaka-importante kasi doon is that the candidate or the one who's aspiring to be president or even vice president parehas yung, parehas yung qualifications is you only have to be able able to read read and write able to read and write so ibig sabihin for example ako hindi nga ako graduate na elementary pero nakasulat at nakakabasa ako nakasalita pa ako siguro hindi naman sinasabi magsalita English basta nakaka able to read and write Tagalog, English, whatever pwede ka mag tumakbo ng presidency or vice presidency so yung manifesto na ginawa nila it doesn't affect his bid no? it doesn't disqualify him so what's your purpose? what's the goal? ayun ngayon nakikita ko lang purpose nun to malign him to discredit him, to tell everyone, the whole world, the Philippines, and the Filipinos, that Bongbo Marcos is a liar. Does it has have an effect to him? Maybe, to some degree. Maybe. But to us, 
Marcos Loyalis, it wouldn't change a thing. It wouldn't change a, god, a goddamn thing, even a word of our belief, no? To Him, no? Okay, anyway, ito na naman yung panibago kong rebatal na sinasabi ko. Na, ito, kaya sabi ko, very embarrassing yung ginawa nilang manifesto niyo or statement. Kasi, pero may nakikita, sana ginawa nyo nalang Tagalog, sabi ko nga sa previous part, ginawa nyo nalang sa Tagalog yun para hindi kayo naintindihan ng mga, ng mga foreigner, no? Kasi nakakahiya yun, nababasa ng foreigner. Ang sa, sa, siguro yung nisman, ito mga Pilipino talaga, oh, mga crab mentality talaga. Kapwa na Pilipino sinisiraan. Yun ang, yun ang actually dating nun, no? Yun ang dating nun, especially to foreigners. In fact, ito na nga eh, naglabas patuloy na statement ang admin ng St. Edmund Hall of Oxford kung saan sila, nag-aral sila, sila si Bobo Marcos ng statement that he is indeed a degree holder. Okay, eto, bukod doon sa sinabi noon ng admin no, ng uh, Oxford University, There was a certain Filipino and I really salute this guy. Hindi ko man siya kilala. I just read his uh, narratives. At uh, ilalagay ko siguro sa description na itong ano to, no? kung ano yung sinabi ng guy na yun. Ni Mr. Cinco uh, ay Mr. Ben Cinco Salute to you sir. Uh, ma -ma 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 mapanood mo man to. No? Uh, in behalf of Filipinos like me. Kasi, ano mo sinabi ni Mr. Ben Cinco? He was born in England. He's born and raised in England. And he even had a toddler education. Meron pala silang toddler education doon. So, he finished everything hanggang college. Toddler education, um, uh, elementary or intermediate, high school and college. Now, ang sabi niya ron, he find it funny na tatawa na siya kasi People or Filipinos doesn't understand that there's a very far difference between the educational system in England to the Philippines. Very far difference. Why? Oh, punta na lang tayo. Advance natin sa college. Ang sinasabi doon na, yun rin ang sinasabi ng ni, ni Bongbong Marcos. That's why Bongbong Marcos really knows that he finished a degree a degree. Pupunta natin yung salitang degree. Okay. Ganun rin sinabi ng admins ng St. Edmund Hall of Oxford mismo. Mismo, bibiro mo Oxford mismo na nagsasabi tapos kinukontra ng Oxford Philippine Society na mga naging estudyante lang. So, sino paniniwala natin mga Pilipino? Oxford Philippine Society or the Oxford University Academy itself? Yung mga din dyan, or yung mga kung sino man yung head na, na naglabas ng statement. So, other than the Oxford University, this Mr. Cinco, Ben Cinco, so dahil siya ay British national siya, no? UK national siya, but he's a Filipino, he took it upon himself, he took the liberty of going to the Oxford and investigate things for himself, just to find things, kung ano yung kiniklaim na Uh, statement na yon ng mga Philip Oxford Philippine Society na hindi nga nakatapos ng degree siya no no so pumunta siya ron and sabi niya nga by the way speaking of diploma speaking of degree speaking of bachelor of arts BA kung ano mang kurso no ang sinasabi nila sa England kapag sinabing dinaan mong bachelor of arts ang BA sabi ni Mr. Bensico is parang dadaanan mo lang yun, parang it's the first 2 to 3 years of your entire course kung ano may kinuha nyo parang stage lang yun As, uh, hindi yun yung entire degree yung BA, yung Bachelor of Arts no? tapos ang diploma pala sa kanila at nabanggit rin to ng mga akadim no? ng uh, head ng Oxford University ang diploma pa sila pala sa kanila ay dalawang klase. Non-degree and degree. Pag non-degree, medyo matagal-tagal na itong kurso to. At pag degree, 
Medyo meron dalawa pa to, may dalawa rin na klase. Matagal, ayun uh, usual at uh, yung mabilis, no? So, pero dun sa mas faster, faster nan with degree uh, diploma, degree diploma, mas marami daw yung academic requirements or mga gagawin or pinagagawa na dapat mo matapos for you that you have to comply and for you to finish the degree katulad sa kanya social studies yung kay Bongbong Marcos and true enough sabi nga nila ng academe if a person matriculated in our university and has finished the diploma was awarded a diploma a degree diploma he has actually a degree holder So, sino pa yung ano? At yun rin yung nakita ni Mr. sinabi ni Mr. Ben Cinco na meron siyang question dyan. Ilalagay ko po sa, sa YouTube description ko na ito, itong video na ito. Ilalagay ko po lahat yung sinabi niya. Uh, uh, puputuling ko lang. Particular doon. Ang sagot, may tanong doon. May tinanong, may tanong, nire siyang tanong. May diploma ba? May degree diploma ba si Mar Marcos? Yes. Meron ba siya? So, does it mean that he has a degree? Yes. Does it mean na totoo yung sinasabi ng mga Oxford Philippine Society na wala siyang degree? And he said, no. No. Ito ay katulad nila ng mga Oxford Philippine Society na may kaya, na may talino. I just don't know kung graduate rin siya to, no? I have to go back. But, siya mismo ay pinanganak at lumaki doon at natapos, natapos rin siya na from toddler education to college at sabi niya I have I think magkakaroon na mas bearing yung sasabihin ko dahil ako'y taga dito mismo although Filipino siya okay so alam niyo nung nabasa ko yun more than anything else more than yung sinabi ng mga ak ng academe no ng Oxford University admins themselves. Yung sinabi ni Mr. Benson ko, yung narratives niya, is yung mas pinaniniwalaan, yung, is yung mas kinabilibang ko ng gusto eh. ba? Diba? Kesa doon sa Oxford Philippine Society. Kasi siya, alam niya yung, alam niya yung, ano eh, educational system, yung difference sa Pilipinas eh. Hindi ko sinasabing mas matalino ako sa mga Oxford Philippine Society. Actually, na, nakakalula po. Kung nakapapanood nyo, nakakalula po yung mga credentials nyo. Mga tapos na kayo sa Ateneo, sa Lasal, uh, maring sa UP yung iba. Pero, it only means na kayo rin mismo, hindi nyo alam yun yung real definition of a diploma there. Of a de that there's two degree and non-degree diploma. And that is equivalent to a degree. Yung diploma na yun. Well, pero sa inyo po, sinasabi nyo, hindi. No? At gumawa nga kayo ng statement or manifesto na gano'n. So, at any rate, uh, sabi ko nga rin sa previous vlog ko, ang nakakahiya po dito yung yung malaman ng yung ginawa nyo na nababasa ng mga foreigner, pati mga UK, nababasa. Kala nyo, Pilipino nakakabasa nyo, nabasa ka nila yun. Yung kapapilipino nyo, hinihila nyo, na imbis na kung sakaling, paano kung nanalo to si President Marcos, wouldn't we be happy as Oxford? At sigurado ko yung Oxford Academy pag mamalaki. In fact, ngayon pa lang pinagmamalaki ng siya, no? No? Kasi may mga iba't ibang posisyon na rin sa Ilocos na 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 naging posisyon. Governor, congressman, sa'yo na to. Hanggang sa ngayon. So, yun yung nakakahiya doon. Kapo Pilipino. Tapos sila yung ano, katulad si Mr. Ben Cinco, who is even, even he comes from a dis, uh, decent Filipino, as a Filipino decent, he's already a born Uh, British citizen no? oh, he is already born there no? so siya yung nagpatunay na talagang mayroon diploma degree diploma si Bongbong Marcos at meron siyang degree it is 
equivalent to a degree itself. So who are we to dispute that? Who are the Oxford Philippine Society to dispute that or to discredit even Mr. Ben Singko or the Academy Oxford University? Okay, so I leave the judgment to you guys. So, again, so <laughs> anyway, masaya lang ako talaga eh, no? uh, Ako, I'm always proud of Filipino. I'm always proud of Filipinos doing well and representing us very well. If to Oxford Philippine Society, if Bongbong Marcus doesn't represent them as Filipino, well, that is, that is your um, opinion, and I would respect your opinion. But please, respect our opinions too. You cannot change our opinions of BBM, of him. And we research too, by the way. We research too, not only the words of BBM. We res research too. Okay? Again, with that, mga ka-BBM, mga ka-loyalista, at mga ka dyan, BBM Sarat. Very near na. Malapit na announcement niyan. Official announcement. Okay? With that, Again, this is Richard Solomon of my YouTube channel, Child by Narratives. Please do subscribe. As I always say, peace, God bless, and love one another. More so your family. Most, more so your families. Okay? Bye-bye. BBM. Sarah Inday. BBM. Sarah Inday. BBM. Sarah Inday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.